What is going on everyone? Welcome back to 2 Jill Z Garage. The new wheels for the 350Z finally have their new tires wrapped around them and they're finally ready to be installed onto the car. I've had these wheels done for like a good four months, five months and I haven't been able to source the tires but I finally was able to get the tires and man did I choose the perfect size because these wheels look so good. They don't have too much lip, too little lip. It's like the perfect size. For the fronts, I went ahead and went with a 255-35R19s. The tire is an Atlas Force UHP Ultra High Performance. The tread wear is 520AA, which is really good. And it's supposed to have good traction in the wet, dry, snow, ice, everything. So it should be a good all-round tire. The thread looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you guys didn't see it's really hard to get in the video but the wheel the face is a universe color powder coated from jonathan over at luxury choices and they have gold plated hardware i also have gold plated lug nuts to go with the wheels so it should all tie in together very nicely and of course i got the polished lips with the inner satin black barrels these wheels are two piece they are volk racing i forget the exact model they used to say it on here but after they polished them it like it went away but i forget but these are like old style Vogue racing wheels so they are a lot better than what i had on the car before which were concept ones like they're not reps but they just weren't you know uh, i guess you could say a well-known wheel these are definitely well known the wheels i currently have on the car are the ones that came on the car which are 20s but they are mrr design so my boy yandel is gonna help me with filming of getting these babies on the car. So uh, let's get to it. Oh no, nah, bro, you need a bigger impact. So now I need to use the breaker bar, huh? Oh. What broke? The lug nut. The lug nut broke. Oh, the socket broke. Got powder coated green suspension. Powder coated green suspension by Luxury Choices, including the blue caliper, Brembo brakes. You need to drive it. It's gonna probably rub when I lower it. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, when, like, if I hit a bump or something, mm -hmm. it's gonna probably rub. What the heck is that? That's my, that's my piece of wood. I just noticed something, like, and it really, it really bummed me out. Oh! You see how it's dent? Yeah. Look at this cheese. The lip is bent. Oh man, that sucks. There you go. They're crying now. All right, so he just finished breaking off this lug, uh, this socket, and right now he's gonna trying to test out if the other socket's gonna fit, and it's not fitting. I'm having bad luck with this. I should, I've been thinking about getting into that, bro, and start filming. Bro, it's recording or not? Yes, if it's a red dot on the side, red dot. All right. Dude, why is it so cold outside? Yo, dude, let me see that jacket off. Just you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> cold as all hurt. I'm cold with the jacket. Mister, are you crazy? Then zip it up. I could zip it up, but then it'll be too tight because it's already too small. So I gotta run wow. it up. You're it's skinny already, you bro. Your shirt don't even fit you. That's how skinny you are. Oh! <laughs> Fuck you, Yondo, bro. You funny, bitch. <laughs> Don't be so wavy, bro. The difference is in the whisk. Alright. That. If that meets. baby. Ooh! Don't shake, don't shake, D. 
be shaking a little bit too much because it's cold. It's cold outside. I just want to show y'all something look at the fitment it's gonna be I don't know it's gonna probably sink in a little bit but it's gonna be right there we'll see right now let's lower this baby yes it is that fitment is there bro it is there I have to roll the fenders for sure so check it out this thing looks clean we had nothing but bad luck with these wheels lug nuts stripped the socket broke the wheel found out it was bent that sucks so much you guys can probably see the ding right there they definitely need to get cleaned up because they are super dirty but man the, what what is going on are y'all all right yeah bro you picked me up bro There you guys have it. I will say I am so, so happy with it. The wheels look so much better than what I imagined. They actually go with the carbon fiber hatch and it looks so good, it all ties in together. Man, does it look so good. The sun is not out right now for me to film this clip, but you guys seen some videos in the sunlight. It's super hard to get this universe effect in the videos, but man, in person, it looks insane, especially when the sun comes out. I am so happy with the tire size that I chose. I chose the perfect tire size for the front and rear. I was gonna go a little bit wider with the 295, 35, 19, but I decided to do the 285. By the way, it's super windy, so if you guys can't hear me, I apologize. It's, it's so windy right now. But man, check this thing out. It looks beautiful. One of my favorite parts about these wheels is that you can see all the green suspension that got powder coated. You guys probably can't see it in the video because it looks dark in the camera, but you can see right there. That's like the whole crossbar. That's the lower control arm. That's the spindle right there. You can see a little bit of it. One thing I was planning to do in the future was powder coating the calipers that green color to match everything. And I do believe that that green, I forget what it's called. Oh, illusion green. I believe that that illusion green will pop a lot better with these wheels than the blue, but it still looks good either way. Oh, you guys can see a little bit of it right there. Look at that. Ooh. Next thing on the list is coilovers. That's for sure. I need coilovers as soon as possible because look at this. I got to fix that. That's way too much, but ooh, let me get that shot. Let me get that shot. I just came into the car because man it is so windy. It's way too windy for me to be recording outside. But long story short, what I was talking about is next thing on the list is coilovers because the tire to fender gap is like so big and I want to shorten that down a lot. Once I get this baby lowered, oh my God, it's just going to be the cherry on top. If you guys are experts or know anything about coilovers, 
please let me know down below what brand I should go with. I was planning on going with the BC, not the BR series, but I believe it's the DS series. It was the uh, series that's above the BR series because I do plan on taking this thing to the track eventually, so I wanna have something a little bit better suited for the track. If you guys are wondering what tires I went with, like I said earlier, I went with the Atlas Tire Force UHP Ultra High Performance. It is a little lower grade tire, but it's a lot more affordable. So we will see how good they are. If they're not good, then we'll probably end up going with something else. If they are good, it was worth a shot. I'm so happy with the wheels. They look so good. Should I powder coat the calipers green to match all the suspension or should I just leave them blue? Let me know what you guys think. I just washed the whole car too and the car just looks so glossy and shiny. In the sunlight, this car really pops and it has a lot of sparkles, especially in the carbon fiber hatch, the wheels, the paint has the pearl into it. It's just, this whole car is flashy. In my opinion, this is the best the car has looked since I have owned it. And I, oh my God, I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. As always, I appreciate you guys spending, not wasting, but spending a few minutes of your day to watch my video. I like truly do appreciate it. I don't even know, you guys probably don't even understand, but I really, really do thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give the video a big fat thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. And let me know down below what coilovers I should go with, if I should powder coat the calipers, the green. What should I do? What's next for the 350Z? Let me know. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.